Okay, hello again YouTube. Today we are going to be looking at an amazing, amazing mod by Tamida over on XDA Developers for the Galaxy S4 um, I GTI 9505. Uh, Ultra power saving mode has been ported along with a whole bunch of other stuff. S5 contacts and dialer, system UI, um, got a Galaxy S5 settings with list view, tab view, grid view. Uh, what else have we got? A, a groovy like car mode. Um, uh, what else have we got? Uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. Get over to the thread and uh, and have a look at it. Um, today we're looking at ultra power saving mode and power saving mode in general uh, for the Galaxy S4. Just fantastic, fantastic work. Let's start with power saving. Click on power saving and we've got a great additional feature that turns the screen grayscale. You've got all the other features that we, we used to have with our S4s, so you can reduce the screen brightness, the CPU usage. An additional one here is the frame rates reduced, uh, and of course this grayscale. UI doesn't change, unlike ultra power saving mode, but we'll get to that. Uh, okay, can we activate power saving mode, and it just goes back to our normal UI. Let's have a look at ultra power saving mode. Now ultra power saving mode just gives us that little bit extra. Estimates 6.3 days of, of uh, standby life with 51% of battery. Let's activate it. Turns the screen grayscale. It turns the home screen basically black and white. And as we know, blacks on uh, OMLED screens will save a lot of power because they don't output any power. So it enables us we get this single home screen like this gives us a bit of detail battery percentage and estimated standby time it shut off all our Wi-Fi and mobile data networks uh, and I've got a bad signal here at the moment uh, and gives you access to some basics phone messages internet using the ultra power saving mode app picker you can choose apps that you'd also like to see on this home screen and of course the lock screen is changed to all black, no wallpapers, no transitions, it's all very smooth. You get access to very few settings uh, to enable you to use some of the other features of the phone, but that's all you get. Uh, and the only other option really is to disable ultra power saving mode. Uh, so let's click that. Yep, let's disable it. So there is a, a bug. It's not with this mod, it's, uh, it's compatibility with the exposed framework at the moment. When you come out of power saving, ultra power saving mode, you get a load of exposed notifications and you drop down asking you to reboot your device. Now, a reboot will get rid of them, but they are pretty persistent. It's not a bug with... Uh, with the mod itself, it's just to some compatibility issues with the, the framework and there's our first exposed modules been updated. Uh, I imagine there's going to be a fix for it out soon, probably an exposed to cater for the Galaxy S5. The Galaxy S5 has the same issue, um, so it's not the mod. One last thing on power saving is... Oh. Emergency mode. Come on. And I think, yeah, there we go. Emergency mode. When we activate emergency mode, it's very similar to ultra power saving mode, except you get a few different features. Select activate it, turns the screen grayscale, black and white. Um, looks very much like ultra power saving mode. Um, but you do get a few extra options which are quite cool if you do find yourself in emergency. Uh, you know, the Galaxy S5 has got some pretty cool features. Uh, so let's have a look. You've now got torch, emergency alarm, a share my location button, phone, internet and maps which I've added from the app picker. Um, an emergency call button and again very simple settings. Torch, 
fully functional and emergency alarm is exactly what it says. So we've got three lots of power saving settings, each with very, very useful functions on it. Um, again, great mod, great work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's come out of that. Uh, it's only available for the GTI 9505, I think I said that. I am running this with the Echo ROM uh, mod, version 25.1, so it's built into Echo ROM. Uh, I think that was a first for the team over there. And just great work again. If you like my video, please hit like and remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting a few more videos together about this fantastic mod because there's just a whole bunch more stuff packed in there. Thanks for watching YouTube and take care.